Alright, so today we're going to look at a 1969 Red Schwinn Stingray. This is the serial number DE, which is going to be April of 69. Uh, this is a, a nice little bike, cool little bike, fun bike. Uh, it's got some, uh, some nice features to it. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, a few things that are original on it, a few things that are not original on it, uh, flaws, mechanical workings, uh, try to just go over the bike showcase it a little better and uh, put potential bidders uh, more confidence on what they're bidding on. So we're going to start this auction the Thursday before Christmas and that should run 10 days so that's going to end uh, January 1st on Sunday. So it'll start 10 days before January 1st which is the Thursday before Christmas. So it's going to be a 10 day auction. Uh, like we said it's a 69, it's red as you can see, this one has the uh, the two-speed back wheel. This is the yellow band, two-speed back wheel. It's working, perfect order. We'll uh, we'll go over that here shortly. Uh, this tire, these tires have made in the USA on them. This is a uh, Schwinn Stingray slick uh, wide tread, made in the USA. So this wasn't a reproduction. Like I said, this is a two-speed yellow band Bendix uh, with, with the kickback. You, you move the brakes back, it changes to two gears. The uh, the front wheel is a uh, S7 that has a, also has a made in the USA tire. That's a West Schwinn West Wind tire. Now this front hub is a Schwinn hub. This isn't a uh, Schwinn approved. It's a stamp Schwinn. And, uh, and the difference in that is, if it says Schwinn approved, it wasn't made at the Schwinn factory. It was approved by, by a vendor of Schwinn. Uh, an example of that would be like these pedals. These pedals are Schwinn approved, but they're union pedals made in Germany. These brakes have Schwinn approved stamped on them, which they're uh, Wyman brakes, also made in Germany. But an uh, example of that would be this front hub is stamped Schwinn, so this would have been made at the, at the Schwinn factory. Like I said, the tires have the Made in USA on them, so I'm thinking that these tires are original. They're surely not reproductions. Uh, we've got the, uh, it's got a really nice uh, Schwinn Stingray seat. Uh, the vinyl looks great on it. It's got all the correct hardware. We've got the S stamp on the uh, seat post clamp. Got the Q bolts, correct uh, hardware on the chain guard. These, uh, these two speeds, Whenever they made the two speeds, they, they typically came with a front brake. Even though it's a coastal brake bike, it has a, uh, the front brake on it to go with the two speed. That's correct. And then it's got these uh, the shock absorber, the, uh, the springs. Uh, they could call this the floating, you know, floating banana seat. Uh, you saw these on the crates. A lot of people probably recognize these from the crates. It was an option at the uh, dealership in 69. It could be an add-on when you bought the bike. I don't know if it was added on in 69. But it's the same ones that they use on the plate. These aren't reproduced. These are the heavy duty um, Springer uh, Sissy Bar. So this isn't the cheap reproduction that you can buy now. So I'm thinking this was from 68, 69. These handlebars, these are the real appealing, cool handlebars. The, uh, they're wide. They come back. Uh, I think we first saw these on the Fastbacks in '66. I think they were once referred to as the Fastback handlebars. And then you saw them on the Stingray '67, '68, and I believe '69. You saw them on the early crates also. Uh, so what else do we have? Let's see. We've got heavy duty fenders on it. It's a real nice front fender. Uh, you can tell that's a that's a heavy duty one. That's not a cheap replacement. And this back fender, you know, it's a dovetail, it's heavy duty, it's razor edge, but I don't think this was correct to the bike. It looks like someone modified it a little bit. They, they cut, you, you can't really see it when it's mounted, but if you, when the chain guard's off, you can see that they, the, the fender is cut to fit. But it is a heavy duty fender, it's a good fender. And then the chain guard, someone put a water transfer decal on the chain guard. You have to look close, but this says Super Deluxe. Okay, so they did not use the correct water transfer decal when they put that on there. Super Deluxe, I believe, was only in 66, and that would have been red, not red, would have been violet, uh, copper tone, and uh, blue, I believe. It wasn't, they didn't even make a red one in 66. 
So this is definitely not, so I think it's the correct chain guard, but someone put a, uh, a super deluxe water transfer decal on it. They did a good job on it, and they cleared over it, and it's on there. Or else I would have taken it off, but uh, they sealed it so well, I decided to delete it. Uh, so let's look at the workings on this. Let's show that this two-speed back wheel works. So anyone is not familiar with this, so you're going, so this would be the normal gear, and then if you rotate your crank backwards, it goes into an easier gear. This would be like more like for the uh, climbing the hill or going up the driveway. So all that's in good working order. We'll stop it one time, then we'll go again. So everything's working good there. And then the front wheel, also in correct working order. It's free spinning, uh, looks good. Uh, the bike's mechanically tuned. Uh, you're not going to have any mechanical problems with it. We're going to take it down and uh, take it for a short ride. Just show some weight on it and uh, go from there. All right, so we're outside, so we're gonna we're gonna get on the bike. I'm gonna try to ride it in a small circle so I can kind of go through the gears and you can kind of see how the gears work. And uh, a couple of things we rushed on. Uh, the paint does have typical, uh, little, not typical, I think it has less than typical, little light scratches on it. Uh, paint looks really good uh, for this bike. And I wanna show this, we didn't go over the front brake, so I just wanna, I just wanna show that real quick. And, you know, we got a good working order front wheel there. Okay. Everything releases. Brakes working. Okay, so I'm gonna get on it. You know, first thing I want to show you when I get on it is the shocks. You know, so this is what this is supposed to do. It gives you a little spring. Uh, it's supposed to make this, the ride more comfortable. Uh, spring in the in the sissy bar. Uh, this is something that they really became popular with the crates. Okay, so I'm gonna try to ride in a small circle right here and go through these gears a couple of times and just show you uh, how this works. All right, so this would be the easy. This is the, this is the more easy one. This is what you would use to ride up. A, so then all you have to do is just kind of rotate backwards and it's gonna go in the other gear. Some people think you have to hit your brakes, but you don't. It's tuned right. All you have to do is just rotate back. Just there, and, and there it goes. That's all it is. It's just a slight back pedal. There, I'm in the bigger one now. See, so you don't have to hit your brakes. If it's tuned correctly, all you're gonna do is just a slight rotate backwards, and that's gonna shift gears for you. And that's how a properly operating two-speed should work. Thank you.